Ah, yes, there are many parallels, and uh, but there are also differences, and uh, uh, you can't live here very long without being aware of these differences. And I'm, I, I'm speaking here not of superficial things, but things that are quite profound. And I think one of the biggest things, if not the biggest thing, is the kind of the the spirit of, of America, which comes from its very foundation, and the spirit of Australia, which comes from its foundation. America was founded as a religious country by people who uh, came here to get freedom of religion. And it's remained a religious culture, a religious country uh, with, a, with a, a culture that is very much marked by religion. I'm, I'm not saying that there are not bad things also about the American culture, the consumerism and the materialism and so on, we're all very much aware of those. But it strikes someone coming from outside just what a religious country it is, where most people do seem to have a religious affiliation. And also, they're not ashamed of it, they're quite happy to live it uh, in common and for everybody to know that they're Catholics or Presbyterians or whatever they might be. Well, now, Australia is quite different from that. Australia is much more secularized than America, and I think it goes back to our foundation. There was no idealism about the foundation of Australia. We were founded as a penal colony for Britain, and uh, we had some um, very um, high idealists there, of course, as political prisoners, but a great number of them, of course, were not political prisoners. They were petty thieves and so on. And... Um, I suppose that's given us, uh, we don't, it's not that we have a devotion to petty crime or anything like that, or a criminal way of life, quite the opposite, but uh, we do have a, an egalitarian sense, but it's different from the um, egalitarian sense of, of Americans, which they would see, Americans would see, I think, tell me if you think this is an exaggeration, but they would say, uh, all human beings are equal before God. I think that might be part of the American understanding. Well, God wouldn't come into the Australian equation. We just <laughs> think we're... <laughs> now, the, the churches are quite strong in Australia, too, but uh, but uh, you don't find that um, permeating of society by religion in Australia. It's a much more secularized country, and I think probably always has been, probably always will be. And it's perhaps in that way, you know, it's almost a bigger challenge, I think, for the church... One thing that impresses me so much about uh, being here at Marquette, uh, and the, you wouldn't see anything like this in Australia, is a younger generation that is strongly religious. You know, we see them, you know, um, I don't know what the percentage of religious practice is among our students, but I, my impression is both Catholics and Protestants, it's quite high. Whereas um, it's a much bigger struggle in Australia to try and hang on to the younger generation.